Hello, this is Brandon Haston at Pseudo Game Dev. This is part three of our series of Let's Make a Game with Unity 4 videos. This video will be covering textures and materials, how to create them, how to import them, and how to use them on our game objects within Unity. As you can see, I've gone ahead and made a few grass tiles. They look like gray cubes because that's exactly what they are. I've gone ahead and put them in their own empty game object called grass. This is just to kind of organize things and keep my hierarchy here for my project from getting super cluttered. I've done the same thing with my fence posts from our previous video here. Put them in their own game object called cla or called fence class. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Anyways, gray cubes aren't the most exciting thing to look at. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a texture. Unity is really cool because what it will do, well, it does a lot of things. It, it likes to automate a lot of things for you. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a folder real quick for our textures, call it texture. Let me make it plural because it'll be holding multiple textures. Just one for this video, but in the future, I'll be having multiple textures in it. Now that we have our folder, I'm going to go ahead and open Photoshop here. Uh, and now that that's loaded, I'm going to create a new image. It's going to be 256 by 256 pixels in size. And generally, you want to have your textures to be square. At least powers of two. Now over here, I've got my green colors for my grass already set up. I've got my light green and my dark green. And I've got our dune grass brush, which is what I'm going to be using to paint some grass really quick. And just give it a good coat. That looks pretty grassy to me. Let's go ahead and save this in our textures folder. And this is where things get really cool. Once I set the format to JPEG, because I'm not worrying about alpha channels or anything like that, just want some color, I'm going to get creative here and name my texture grass.jpg. I'm going to put it in textures. And what you're going to see now is once I save this, Unity will automatically import our texture into the game. This is very cool. And I'm very, very happy about this kind of thing. It just makes things so much easier. I'm going to mess with the default settings a bit. I'm just going to go to max size and set it to 256 because that's what I created my texture at. I don't think we would want the max size to be larger than the size we made our texture. Things could possibly get blurry. Not sure. Don't quote me on that. I just like to keep things kind of consistent, I guess. Format, you can mess with it. I'm going to leave that compressed because I trust Unity to know what it's doing for now. Click apply to apply that change. And this is where things get really cool. To make a material, you don't even have to worry about it, at least for a single image like this. Since all we're worrying about is our diffuse texture, which is just the color of an object, we can take this image that we just made and simply drag it onto a cube. A couple things happened. Now you see our cube has this grass texture applied to it, but if you look over here under assets, Unity has also made a default materials folder. And if you open that, you can see there's a grass material with base RGB set to 
our grass image. All that was done automatically. And you can mess around with the shaders. I am wondering what unlit texture looks like. It looks very bright. I don't know if that's going to look very good, so I'm just going to leave it default for now. And because I've made my grass tiles prefabs and I've applied a material to this cube, I can simply click apply to apply the changes to the prefab. And you can see all my cubes have updated and look pretty grassy. So let's take a look how that looks in game. That looks like grass to me, I guess. Yeah, it's looking like pretty solid grass. Let's take a look real quick, um, see what it looks like unlit. Any object that has the same material, any changes to that material will update on all objects using it. Let's take a look real quick. That's, yeah, that's bright. I guess that'd be useful if you're not using lights in your game and you wanted to hand paint a certain light source into your tiles, possibly. I don't know. I'm not really liking it right now, so I'm just going to go back to Diffuse and let light do its thing. Now, if you wanted to make the material from scratch by hand, in our Materials folder, you would simply right-click, go to Create, and then click on Material. And you give it a material name like fence post and we need a texture for our fence post so let's make one i'm just going to cover over this one with some brown brown colors what's brown that's brown that's a good brown and i'll leave the green because that Looks interesting. You can't really see the detail very well in the image. I wonder if we have a better brush for this. We do. Let's change this to dark brown. We can just make a really crappy brown texture. Um, let's save this as fence post dot jpeg. And Unity will automatically be updated with fence post. We could drag and drop, but because we're making a material from scratch, we just click on, on our gray material now. And where it says none texture for base RGB, we can just select and it'll give us this menu with little thumbnails of our images we can select from and click on fence post. There you go. Now I can go ahead and drag and drop this and see that all our fence posts get updated with our brownish fence material. And you really can't see the detail of the strokes. It just looks brown. So I could have just probably made a brown image and it will have worked just as well. Let's drag a uh, grass onto the bottom here and apply that. There you go. That's how you use textures and materials in Unity. Hope you've enjoyed this video. In the next one, I'm going to start making some custom models or game content to use within Unity using Blender.
So I'm going to show how to export models from Blender and import them into Unity to use, because there's only so much you can do with cubes. Yeah, yeah, I know there's Minecraft, and there's people have done crazy things with cubes in Minecraft, but I want a little bit more detail that I can get with stacking a bunch of cubes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.